Hello folks, Cass with Titan Medical Center, one of the nurse practitioners here. I want to talk to you guys today about Thymosin Alpha-1, a powerful immune modulator. It's being currently used to treat a variety of illnesses from cancer, tuberculosis, hepatitis, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, Lyme disease, and other acute or chronic inflammatory diseases. This medication can be delivered subcutaneously and it will help boost your immune system and increase the body's production of T cells. T cells come in two different forms, helper T cells and killer T cells. These killer T cells are the titans of our immune system. They go out and they find the cells or the bacteria or pathogen or funguses that are invading our bodies and causing us pain or inflammation and they do their best to eradicate them. Then we have our helper T cells. These cells work by orchestrating the appropriate immune response to the infection or the inflammation. Thymosin Alpha-1 will help eradicate the unhealthy cells in the body. It can also potentially stop the growth of tumor cells and cancer cells. It will exhibit antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties of invading pathogens. It can also increase the effectiveness of vaccinations that we take and protect against oxidative stress in the body from infection. This has the potential for great therapeutic benefits when it comes to treating infection, acute or chronic, or inflammatory conditions. So there you have it, folks. For optimal immune function therapies, such as the Thymosin Alpha-1 is the way to go. So if you're looking to increase your immune system, get over an infection, or treat your chronic inflammatory conditions, give us a call. We'd love to help you out. We can be reached at 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. So once again, stay strong and stay healthy out there. What's up guys, it's Big Drew, I'm here at Titan Medical. Great news, we now draw blood in-house. I'm about to get my blood drawn, the doctor is here. So we do blood work here, get your blood work done here. 912 Channel Side Titan Medical. We do everything, baby, let's get it. Hey guys, John here, and we are now officially doing blood draws in-house in Titan Medical Center. We're being able to test and collect your blood a lot quicker and more convenient for our patients. So you can come right down here and get your blood drawn. We can get it all going for you and get the results and get back to you a lot quicker so we can help you guys. Big Drew's in the house right now. He's getting his blood drawn. We're gonna test for things, not just his hormones, like free and total testosterone, estradiol levels, progesterone, IGF-1 levels, B12 levels, but we're also gonna test for his liver, his kidneys, his cholesterol, his thyroid, PSA, which is his prostate. We wanna make sure that, that is all in check. We're also gonna do another test, his hemoglobin A1C, which is a three month read of his blood sugar levels. These are essential tests to know what's going on inside your body so you can not only have a better quality of life, but you can perform at your very, very best. And we want to make it very convenient and very easy. We have our nurse practitioner here drawing the blood so it's above board and who's taking your blood and she's very good at what she does. So if you guys want your blood drawn and you want it done quickly and the most convenient way, you guys can come directly into Titan Medical Center. Now we can still send you to a lab for request if you're not in the area. 
But if you are, why not come down to our beautiful facility, get your blood drawn, and get the results a lot quicker. What do you think, Drew? Feel great, it was simple, it was easy, it didn't feel any pain, the blood came out real quick, I'm ready to go, I'm excited about the results. Come check us out, 912 Channel Side, we do blood in-house, Type Medical, and it's Big Drew approved. So make sure you guys are getting your blood checked and you're getting monitored. Give us a call or text, 727-389-3220 to set up your blood draw today. Okay guys, so we're walking back the blood because once you draw the blood, it's gotta get centrifuge and spun down to make sure it does not coagulate. We have this right in house as well. As you can see, we put it in this nice centrifuge right here. It's going to spin the blood for about eight minutes. And we're going to be able to get this picked up and all the results back to us, hopefully in 24 to 48 hours. We'll be able to contact you within three days to make sure we get you all set up and ready to go. It's that easy, guys. So car or text us today. Let us help you out and monitoring and make sure you guys are feeling your best and performing at your very best. Hey guys, John here from Titan, and it's another segment of health tips that are going to benefit you to hopefully get results in what you're trying to do with your figure, your physique, or just being healthy. So let's talk about it. Most of the time, I get two questions. The first question is, and this is a really, really popular one, is, John, how do I lose weight? So that's the first one, and that's a really popular one, like I said. The second one is, is how do I gain muscle, okay? So, you know, there's a lot of different things that go into this from training, therapies or supplementation, sleeping, but let's talk about one of the most important and that's your nutrition. So nutrition is definitely a high priority in your life. What we eat uh, is basically what we are. You know that old saying, what you are, what you eat. And that is a true statement. Okay, so let's go further into this. So when we talk about that, we want to look at what we're eating. First, the food sources. And I've had another segment, or you'll probably see it very soon, about how to look for good food sources and how to read labels, okay? The second one is, is how are you eating, like proportionate wise? Like, are you doing a macro count? You know, that funny or saying out there, counting macros? Well, macro is a macronutrient. That's what it stands for. And macros are broken down in three different categories. One is protein. The other is carbohydrates. And then we have fats. And we start looking at it. So how do I count macros, John? All right, I know, you know, we have carbohydrates, which carbohydrates come in a number of different forms. It could be uh, simple, you know, carbohydrates like brown sugar or sugar. Or it could be complex like rice or potatoes. Um, and then we look at proteins. So our protein sources, we look at beef, we look at poultry, you know, all these different meats out there. That's a good source for protein. There's other protein from different things. I know people are plant-based and stuff like that. That could be a good uh, substitute if that's the way you want to go. Then we look at fats. So fats, where do you get fats from? So, you know, some, some oils out there, some good oils out there, avocados, nuts and seeds. You know, stuff like that is good fats. Uh, even fish, uh, that's another good one. The body needs these things for a reason. We need energy because that's what we're doing all day. We're moving. We're trying to, you know, the body was made to move, to do things. So it needs this energy. And we want to break down the proper amount of macronutrients or macros that are going to fulfill your desired result and whatever your goal is. So let's look at it. They're always in percentages usually, and those percentages are, you know, broken down and majority of the people that are trying to lose weight, it's like 40% proteins, 30% uh, carbohydrates. Um, and at that point, you know, it can be broken down all different ways. Your fats could be a 25% or 30% or whatever it may be. I'm just giving you examples here of what to go by. And there's macro calculators out there that you can find online that you just plug in what you're eating per day. You can keep count of these calories. Now, what you know, what is protein? How many calories is that? How many carbohydrates? How much is fats? So we look at that. So the calorie count for protein is four calories per gram of protein. It's also four calories per gram of carbohydrates. Now it goes up to fat, nine calories per gram. 
So you look at all this, and at that point, you want to make it simplified. So count your macro. So how many grams of food you are having, and you're breaking down. And usually a label list is on the back or the ingredients, you can do that. Um, if it's like an eight ounce chicken breast or a steak, may, maybe, you can look that up online and see exactly what it is. And there's some good apps out there too that you can keep track of your food. You'll just have to log it in. Some of those already have everything logged in from KFC chicken, to you know uh, uh, an eight ounce grilled chicken breast okay and when you start adding different seasonings on it or maybe some sauces you have to you have to add that in because that's what you're intaking too so make sure you're getting the breakdown of all that and try to stay away from that keep it simple keep it light seasonings okay the fresher the seasonings ingredients the better it is for your body non-processed foods we want to stay away from as, the processed foods the more processed it is, the worse it is for you, okay? And usually that's longer shelf life for items. So you don't want to do that. So you also want to break down, how do I do this? So we look at a total calorie count for males and females. And I'm giving examples because everybody's different. So, but these are the baselines, okay? So we're talking about 2,000 calories for a female. And we're talking about 2,500 calories for a male. And you want to break down those calories, like I said. So you're breaking down how many grams of protein did you intake? So if it was eight grams, you know, it was 32, uh, 32 calories right there. So you're intaking what you know and you're counting these things. Like I said, you can keep it, keep it simple, keep it easy with an app and make sure you are on point with what you're intaking. Now you can meal prep your food, buy that calorie count, know exactly what it is. You can like, for me, I would, I would make eight, 10 ounce uh, filet mignons or steaks. Uh, you can do 10 chicken breasts and they're all the same. You can weigh them out, you know exactly what they are and that's what it is. So you can break it down and make it real simple, real easy. But this is something that get at, it gets asked a lot. So the protein factor. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, you can go low on the protein. If you're trying to gain muscle, you're trying to add more protein in there. You gotta protect the muscle. Because what happens is, is energy comes in your body, carbohydrates, right? And that energy is to move the body, right? To work the body and work the functions of the body. What happens if, let's say, you're sitting on the couch all day, so you're not using a lot of energy, and the excess food that you're intaking out of these things is going to store in the body as fat, and the way that you get this fat off, okay? Now, eating a lesser calorie count can help, but it's really burning through that energy, and then your, your body has to go to that storage of fat to burn for more energy. So that's really where you get the weight loss effect, okay? And it's pretty simple and pretty easy when you st start thinking about it like that. Okay, well, I have to do more activity that I'm intaking in as far as energy. It's in and out. Now, calories count as far as different foods, if it's good foods or bad foods. Like I said, an eight ounce chicken breast to a quarter pounder with cheese is gonna be a little bit different as far as what you're intaking calories and nutrition wise. So make sure that you're picking good food sources. I can't stress that enough. Um, and a, a calorie deficit, definitely a way to go and being uh, or doing more activity to make sure you're burning through those calories and then you can intake properly your macro count of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. I'm gonna have more of these segments for you guys. Please let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them or maybe throw them in the segment for you guys. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about this or any more of our therapies that we offer that can help you along with this journey, please call or text 727-389-3220 and always check out the website www.tightmedicalcenter.com. I appreciate it, guys. And stay tuned for more segments like this. Bye. Welcome back, guys. I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we're back with our Tight Medical Center Clothing Spotlight. And we're here with our beautiful model, internal team member, and tight net, Michelle. And today, we're having her model our Tight Medical Center clothing line with our beautiful sports bra and our tight medical center leggings. So this will not only make you guys feel good in the gym, but look good in and outside by the way that you're looking in these awesome clothing apparel. So today we have our metallic and black tight medical center leggings with sports bra. Obviously we want you guys to match and look good and feel good all the way around. So why don't you just turn around for us, Michelle, show us. So these cuts are awesome. They're going to hug your curves correctly. They're not gonna slide down. They're not gonna ride up. You're not gonna have any white showing when you bend over per se, like some of the other leggings I've seen out there. These are very, very high quality leggings and sports bras for you guys. Now, if you guys don't like the metallic black look, 
we've got about 14 other different color combinations that you guys will love. From camo to solids, whatever color you guys like, we probably have, and you guys will look fantastic in it, even if you want to dress in it every day of the week, like some of our tight nets or girls do. Well, it's too comfortable not to do it every day of the week. So you must put this on every day of the week, no matter where you're going, grocery shopping, to the store, yeah. mm -hmm. to your doctor's office, whatever it might be. What do you think, Michelle? Do you get a lot of compliments in your spirits? All the time. Everyone wants to know where to get them. So yeah. get them on our website. Awesome. So tightmedicalcenter.com is where you can purchase all of our Titan Athletic Apparel and Titan Medical Center Apparel so you guys will look good and feel good together. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys keep it locked to our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and make sure you guys go to tightmedicalcenter.com to check out all of our clothing. What's up guys? John and Sharice here. Hi guys. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So we wanted to come at you guys and, and help you guys out with some tips, some tricks, and some good ideas to help the relationship grow, reignite that flame maybe, or just give you some good tips that I think your partner is gonna love you even more for, okay? So we came up with these great tips and tricks this week. The first one's gonna be thanking each other for anything nice your partner has done for you or does for you to make them feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. The second one is engage in some friendly outdoor competition. And this could be with your partner or you and your partner versus some other people, and maybe it's outside doing the social distancing thing and just being healthy. So with no further ado, let's get into the first one. Thanking your partner for something nice or something they do for you, making them feel appreciated. It's really important to give that credit, I think. No, for sure, 100%. You know, and this goes down to any little tiny thing. I mean, as far as even if it's come to laundry. Um, the other day I was talking to John and I said, you know, even when we go out to dinner, you know, we're on the same bank account, you know, and we're paying the bill. But I always thank him for taking me to dinner. You know, it's just the little things. Or if we go out and we go shopping somewhere and let's just say I bought something at a store and we're there together, I'll thank him for getting that for me. You know, just because he's getting it for me. Even though it's off, off the same card, it's irrelevant because he's getting it for me. And like I said, little things. It could be maybe they brought you a snack from downstairs, upstairs. Maybe they brought you some cookies on a plate. And you say, hey, thanks. You know, thanks goes a long, Absolutely. long long way it Absolutely. makes people feel warm and fuzzy inside and you know it makes them feel appreciated for what they've done no matter what it is it could be the smallest thing absolutely you know um, and at that point like when you're doing these nice things for somebody and you're getting that credit back or you're getting recognized for doing it you might want to do it more or they might want to do it more so when you do say I thank you you know just some I really appreciate it, honey I appreciate you bringing this to me or doing my laundry or you know waking me up or whatever it is you know, they will feel more appreciated. They won't feel underappreciated. And you won't make it feel like it's a complacent type deal. Well, you're supposed to be doing that because you're the woman. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be doing this because I'm the man. Right. You know, it's really like a partnership should be a partnership. And yes, you guys might have your own responsibilities and duties, but you still make the other person, make them feel appreciated for doing that duty, right? Give them some credit because, you know, give credit where credit's due. I think it's really important. And your partner, I think, will love you more for it or feel more appreciated and want to do maybe extra things for you guys or do those things and be happy about doing them instead of like, you know, I it's have to. expected. Yeah, like I have to do this every day. Like, you know, well, that's what you're supposed to do. You're the woman, right? Right. Well, no, that's that's not right, okay? Because if you didn't have that partner, something happens to your partner, they're not going to be around to do that stuff for you anymore. Right. They're gonna, you know, or they might want to leave or, or feel underappreciated in the relationship because they feel like they're doing everything without even getting a speck of credit or an appreciation well, back to it's, them. it's really a recog yeah. like recognizing them, yeah. you know? It, like when I cook dinner for John, you know, which is like once a month, but when I do cook dinner, <laughs> he's ever so thankful for it because it's once a month. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> but he does say thank you, you know. Anytime I ever cook dinner, if I do little things around the house, he says thank you. I'll give you a good example, okay? So, and I always like to give, like, the real-life examples because yep. they're always the best, right? So, in the mornings, we get ready, blah, 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 blah. Everything happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, right, John usually goes downstairs, and he makes a steak with white rice. He eats it every single morning. It's like, it, it, the, the, you're not going to skip a beat. He's going to make it. Right. And every once in a while, I'll want like a half a steak, you know, not like the whole thing, but I'll want a half a steak just to get me going for the day and then I can eat lunch later. So he'll always ask me, hey, babe, 
do you want to have steak? So then he'll make a half a steak for me in the microwave, heat it up and everything. So when I go downstairs, as soon as I get my half a steak and I put it on the plate, I'm like, thank you for heating that up for me, babe. That's just an example. You know, it's something so small, yeah. but I'm, I am truly appreciative of it. It's the smallest things, but I appreciate him being so thoughtful, wanting to do it for me, asking me if I want to have a steak, you know, little things like that. So right. you just got to think about it. And you can reciprocate in different ways. You don't have to just tell them. You got maybe a surprise. And you can still order flowers, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the, the edible uh, fruits. You know, they, they still have those services going on. You can just get a card. You could write a card. You could write a letter to them, you know, make, making them feel good about it and how you're appreciative of all these different things. And you can make a list for them mm -hmm. if they do a lot for you. You know, and I think that's the right thing to do. And I think, you know, a lot of couples get complacent either, you know, with each other and, they, you know, they let themselves go or, or they're not, you know, grateful for the different things their partner provides or does help them out with, even if it's just with the kids and stuff like that, you know, because that's a big, big thing. So make sure that you're giving credit where credit's due, making sure your partner is feeling appreciated for the different things that they do for you or for the relationship or for your family. Mm -hmm. And that goes both ways for males and females, okay? And no job is underneath anybody. Right. You know, one of you guys can complete either one of these tasks, whether it's doing laundry or cooking dinner, taking care of the kids. John did that for the past four weeks while yeah. I've been sick. So, you yeah. know, he's helped me with a lot of things. And I every time I'm like, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much. You know, being sick, I literally I was in bed for, I don't know, probably a good solid seven days in bed mm -hmm. maybe a little longer um, but he had to do everything yeah. he literally had to do everything yeah. he had to go and pick up things drop off things do things for the office he had to make calls that would normally we would share these different tasks you know like take out the trash do this do that grab food make sure Peter's taken care of make sure he took a shower make sure he got up for his tutoring yeah. just a hundred million things and it can be a lot it so can be a lot. You know, thank you a goes a long way. So make sure they're appreciated. Mm. That's one. The next thing. So with everything going on out there, we're going to have to get a little creative of what we're going to do together as a couple, right? Because there's certain things you can do and there's certain things you can't do right now. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to engage in friendly outdoor competition. Now, this could be with you and your partner versus each other Me and having John a friendly are very, competition. Very competitive. Right? Or you can have a competition against some of your friends because you can still social distance and do some of these things where they're always together and you're always together and you guys are, are you know going against each other in these friendly competitions, which is really cool because it's team building between you and your partner. So partnership building and, and bonding. And then you're having some fun with, with you know your friends and stuff like that. So let's go over just some examples, right? You guys can race each other or you can race other couples, right? And that's like jogging or racing if you guys like to do that and want some exercise along with roller skating. So you guys can race on roller skates, you guys can go against each other and do the roller skating thing. Yeah, tour activity thing. Me and John, we like to play basketball. Yeah, so you can play basketball. See how many get, you know, how many hoops do you get? How many hoops do I yeah, get? Yeah, you, you can you do know, one on horse. horse. I don't know why they cho chopped it down to some three letter word. Pig, horse. Okay. Yeah, horse. You know, so there's a lot of ones out there. Um, so that, you know, you can play tennis together. You can play, you know, golfing together. Yep. You can go to the driving range, just see who hits the bar, ball yeah. farther, right? Top golf. Because um, it's not as big, you know, it doesn't matter how big you are, how strong you are. It's really the form and how you're hitting the ball. Mm -hmm. So that could go a long way. Um, you guys can get a giant mm -hmm. Connect Four for the backyard and do that. We, we've done that at some of the hotels. They've had these things for kids. Really fun. <laughs> um, ring toss in the backyard, cornhole in the backyard. You guys can have a water balloon fight. So if it's a real hot day in the summer, mm -hmm. you know it's going to be hot the next day. Uh, maybe it's a weekend or whatever it is. You guys can go against each other. You guys can get the kids involved. We have kids. You guys can have a couple come over and you guys can do that. Where you guys are social distancing and try to throw, throw it in with water balloons. Uh, you know, a, a, a water gun fight if you guys want to do that. Uh, you guys can jet ski. So if you guys on the water, you have water close to you guys. You guys can jet ski together. You guys can race on the jet skis if you guys want to do that. Um, paintballing. So paintballing ah. is still open. Um, it might be a little hot out there, but listen, that's... Be ready for a couple bruises. So you're not going to be getting six feet to somebody with, when they have a gun because those <laughs> things do hurt if you're that close. So yeah. you guys can do that. And you guys can be on the same team or you guys can go against each other too as well. So these are just some of the little things that you guys can do outside, be active, and get your relationship stronger, right? And like I said, you guys can do friendly competitions between yourselves 
or between other couples. That's another one. So it's just really cool. Like you just got to get creative out there. Mm-hmm. Think outside the Especially box. Especially with everything going on. You know, you guys can you know in love. You guys can have picnics outside. You guys can have like a picnic like cook off between you and another couple or, or per se, or maybe you and your your wife or husband cook your favorite dishes. Which one tastes better? You guys mm-hmm. can kind of go from there. So there's a lot of different things. So think out of the box. Be creative, and in this time right now, strengthen your relationship with your family, with your your loved one, and that will will continue on past this pandemic and things that we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. So just remember some of these different things. These are just some of the tips and tricks that me and Sharice have came up with to, you know, heighten or enhance our relationship, because our relationship's pretty good. There's people out there that don't have good relationships, and they want to know how to work on the relationships. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the things. Take it back. Have fun together, you know? Don't lose that. Make it mm-hmm. simple. Make it easy. You don't have to have a lot of money to do fun things together. Don't make together. it so complicated, you right. know? Sometimes sometimes they'll try to coordinate something, like what he's talking about, like yeah. like say a water balloon fight or yeah. something like that, and then everything gets so detailed, and yeah. now you guys are, like, fighting about, like, you know, how many balloons are going in each bucket, no. and, you know, what are we going to do, and how, what time are we, just, just guys, just, just chill. Have just somebody chill. in charge of setting it up or put a game plan together. Like, water balloons are real easy. Yeah. Listen, you get two bags of water balloons, you fill them up. They even have these even ones have that are the automatic. Yeah. They fill up 10 at a time. That's cool. And you guys can just put a number. Put 20 in there. Put 20 in there. Perfect. Now we're going to go on each side. Make it simple. Start. Boom. You can have the kids watch or be involved if you have kids, right? Or you can have, you know, your couple competitions too as well. So you can have the females against each other, males against each other, and then whoever scores the most points or whatever, <clears> they, listen, they win. And you guys can, you know, treat them to dinner or something like that. Really simple. Really easy. Things you guys can do to heighten your relationship, take it to the next level, and bond together. So I appreciate you guys tuning in to me and Sharice. Thank you, guys. I'm so happy I'm back. Oh, I'm getting there anyway. And I'm glad you guys are tuning in every Sunday. Yes. So we're getting this a lot. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for DMS, the questions or or things that you guys want to hear about. And I appreciate all the feedback. I literally hear from somebody every time I go out. Because I don't go into too many places because of what's going on. But when I do, like, hey, listen, I see your show. It was or really the people cool. out there, you guys, those of you guys that are screenshotting it on your TV and sending yeah. it to me, it makes me feel it makes me feel good that it's being seen. So Very cool. do it. Send yes. it to me. Yes. And every week we're coming at you guys with new content, fresh segments, <clears> so you guys can enjoy new things from me and Sharice. So this has been another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC here in Florida. Or if you don't have that, just go to our Titan Medical Center Facebook page. It's there the exact same time, 11 a.m. Or if you miss it at that time, you can always go back and watch it any other time. Plus, we're going to put this up on podcast. You guys can listen to in your cars or at the gym where you guys can't watch us and you guys are maybe doing another activity. So thank you guys again. We'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner, guys. Thanks, guys. See ya.